Well, Korea and Japan reached a landmark deal on settling their long-standing dispute on Japan's wartime sex slavery of Korean women, as you might remember. Japanese Prime Minister made a formal apology, and reparations from that government are now in progress. But uh, earlier today, a right-wing Japanese lawmaker made slanderous, not to mention defamatory, remarks about the sex slavery victims. Uh, oh Soo-young has the details. A Japanese lawmaker has branded victims of Japan's wartime sex slavery as professional prostitutes. Japanese media Kodo News reported Thursday that Liberal Democratic Party lawmaker Yoshitaka Sakurada said during a party meeting that the so-called comfort women were prostitutes by profession and that propaganda misleadingly paints them as victims. His provocative remark came only 17 days after Seoul and Tokyo reached a landmark agreement on settling the wartime sexual slavery issue once and for all. Japan's Foreign Minister Fumio Kishida acknowledged last month the Japanese military's involvement in forcing Korean women into sexual enslavement, saying that the government felt acutely responsible and offering a formal apology on behalf of Prime Minister Shinzo Abe through a verbal statement. Sakurada's comment evoked wide media coverage in Korea and Japan, causing the lawmaker to retract his words later. Meanwhile, Japan's Chief Cabinet Secretary Yoshihide Suga declined to comment on Sakurada's remark. Instead, he only referred to the agreement reached by Korea and Japan's foreign ministers. Seoul's foreign ministry was also dismissive of the lawmaker's comments. We do not see the necessity of responding to incipient remarks by individual lawmakers who stand shameless before history. It is the common viewpoint of the international community that Japan forcibly taking women into sexual enslavement while expanding its imperialist goals was a gross violation of human rights. The ministry added that at this point it is critical to create an environment to smoothly implement the two countries' agreement without inflicting further pain on the victims. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News.